Oh, <laughs> your shoes are so white. How do you keep them clean? What a funny one. Okay, uh, I actually get asked this a lot. So New York has not been kind to my white sneakers. But <laughs> um, so this uh, this is this is speaks to me because I'm a clean freak. So I love this that you have this right now. So. Look how happy she is I know, just by I'm looking like, at oh. a washing machine. She's not even doing actual wash. She's glowing. She's like, ah. Oh. Thanks, Rach. Thanks for embarrassing you me. You can come over and, no, do, yeah, okay, come over and visit my I washing will, machine will, anytime you like. I will. Um, so, I love talking about this. So, washing machine, cold wash, all your shoes in there. Right. Laundry detergent, one scoop. No, um, I don't know what you call it here. I'm about to say nappy sand, but it's not called nappy sand here. It's like stain removal. Or anything. Oh, yeah, so just none straight of that, up, right? None of that. So just one scoop of this. And if you have smelly shoes, which I do not, but if anyone does, a bit of vinegar. A bit the of wash. distilled white vinegar. What's important right. to remember is if you don't want your shoes banging around on your washing machine, you put a white towel in with your That's shoes. That's a great tip because the, shoe, the shoes banging around really does scare the heck out of yes. me. It becomes and very annoying. Too. Absolutely. And make sure it's a cold wash as well because you don't want to melt your shoes. No, that would be bad. We asked our viewers to send us some questions on Instagram for her. Let's take a look at the first one. What is say. your secret to great arms? Oh, well, <laughs> she's hiding them today. Where are your arms? <laughs> <laughs> what is your secret to a great arm workout? Well, I was going to show you. Sure, go um, for it. So we've got a chair here, and I think this is like kind of fitting because I just released my beginner program today. So um, a few of my favorite arm exercises, I guess, is something that everyone can do at home. So using a chair, so something simple like a modified push-up. Do you want to try, Rach? Are you happy with your tea? Oh, no, no, it's all right, it's all right, it's okay, it's okay. It's all right. Things like a tricep dip, you can make it harder or easier by raising your legs in and out. And things like something just static, so maybe like a mountain climber, which you can incorporate your abs into as well. And I feel like everyone can do this sort of stuff. Anybody at who's home. got a chair can do all those. Absolutely. <laughs> right? Yeah, that's it. I like that. I like that you put out things that are mindful of. I think a lot of women don't have time to go to a gym for a whole hour, especially if they have a newborn. No, so you they do not have time. For so a whole right, hour. you're like, well, <laughs> you that's for minutes, sure. Yeah. Right, exactly. So I love things like this because they're so easy, and you can literally do them anywhere. Absolutely, absolutely. Even when you're anywhere. traveling. Yeah. Yes, uh, yeah, your hotel room, yeah, in the comfort of your own home. That's what was important to me. <laughs> 